Have you noticed any difference in preparation as far as preseason camp and now game week uh, preparation from your previous uh, spot? Uh, yeah, so I came from Texas A&M. Uh, we did a lot of the sim uh, similar things that Coach Key's trying to do. I feel like here we do, um, I feel like at A&M we did more things fall camp centered later into the going in closer into week one. But here I feel like we've really taken time to, you know, break down film, watch uh, Louisville and, you know, they came from Purdue. So, you know, watching Purdue things and, you know, just watching an array of clips, you know, just getting ready and uh, getting game prep ready. Obviously, no one, oh, sorry, Chad from the AJC. Uh, no one Haynes for a long time. Uh, give us some insight into him. What's he like on and off the field and what should fans expect out of Haynes King as a quarterback? Yeah, so I met Haynes back in 2020 when he came to Texas A&M. And, uh, you know, from day one, he's just been a warrior. You know, he's, um, he's going to be the toughest guy in the locker room. He's a guy who was eager to learn when he got into campus, when he came to A&M in January. And, uh, you know, ever since I've known him, we've kind of built a, a chemistry and a friendship on and off the field. And, you know, he's one of the most personable guys I've been around on the football team. So um, to be on this journey with him here just makes it that much sweeter. I'm Kelly Quinlan from Jackets Online Rivals. Um, just tell us your story, how you ended up here. Yeah, so um, I'll take you through it all. So I went to, got to A&M 2019, you know, did uh, four years there, four or five years there. Uh, got my degree. Uh, you know, things um, didn't pan out the way I wanted them to pan out, but, you know, life happens. So, um, you know, I hit the portal at the end of our uh, season in 2022. And uh, it's kind of funny. I was supposed to go to Arizona State. And um, I was, you know, about to announce that I was committing there. And then Haynes actually hit me up last minute. And he said that he had started talking to um, Coach Faulkner and Coach Key and Coach Winky because him and Coach Winky went way back. So um, he was like, hey, like, you want to meet them? So I was like, sure. So, you know, I met them with Haynes. And, you know, just from my first conversation with um, Coach Key and, and Coach Winky and Coach Faulkner, it just felt like I've known them for years. And so that's really the biggest thing I was looking for in the new school was just um, going to a family-like atmosphere, you know, just being able to just start brand new on a team to where I could, you know, have a potentially have a role in the offense. And so, you know, uh, I came here committed. Uh, I didn't come here in the spring. I got here in the summer, but I've been happy with my decision ever since. How would you compare the wide receiver room here to the guys you played with at A&M? Uh, there's a lot of similarities. Um, we, have, we have a lot of young talent in the room. We have a lot of guys who haven't seen the field yet, you know, whether that be injury or just um, depth chart, things like that. But um, there's not really a lot of differences. I know people look at a school like A&M and, you know, being in the SEC and um, think there's such a drop off, but there's not really. And, you know, we have a lot of guys in the room here uh, like Eric Singleton, uh, Avery Boyd, DJ Moore. Um, Abdul, Jana, and Christian Lear, that whole room from top to bottom, I feel like, are guys who can go out there. And I feel like there's guys that can go out there and the coaches can trust them to uh, have the ball in their hands. So um, it was like that at a and play with a bunch of playmakers there. And, uh, you know, kudos to those guys. Those are my brothers still. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of similarities between both rooms. What are your expectations for this offense, not only Friday, but the whole season? What should we look forward to? Uh, you know, just explosiveness, you know, whether that be you running the ball, passing the ball. Um, I think we're an offense that wants to, you know, get up and down the field. Um, I won't go too much into detail, you know, but um, I think Georgia Tech fans have a lot to look forward to this year, and it will be different from years past. With the offense and, and the way Coach Faulkner kind of runs it, and we saw a little of this in the spring, there's – a lot of positionlessness with the skill guys. You can line up wherever, and you've played the slot and played on outside. And do you like that? It's, I guess, more. It's less based on like this is X, this is Y, this is Z, and that you can line up in all kinds of different ways and get the ball in different ways. Is that something that appeals to you about the offense? Yeah, I think the receivers like that because you know, like you said, it, it takes you out of that. Okay, I'm an X, I'm a Y, I'm a Z. So having a quote unquote positionless offense, you know, it allows guys to, you know, get put in positions and put in spaces for them to have the ball in their hands, you know, make plays and, you know, just be out there just playing loose and playing free. And I think that's Coach Faulkner's philosophy is, you know, just to get the ball into the guy's hands and just have them just go make plays. So. I know the goal was to, to give Haynes time back there, sit in the pocket. And uh, what have you seen from the offensive line that will allow him to do that? 
Yeah, from you know day one in camp, I feel like the guys, that old line, that whole room, Coach Way has done a tremendous job of you know just coaching them very hard. And you know the good thing about our old line, those are guys who are just eager to learn, eager to get better, um, eager to just go out there and just you know accept the challenges that the day may bring. So you know from day one to now, you know getting into game prep, I've seen tremendous growth in that whole entire room. And you know the the whole they they know their job and they know they want to keep hands off the ground. So I think we're really the confident in them going forward. It's, what is that chemistry like with Theo Haynes? Obviously, you guys have had a lot of time together. I imagine that that makes makes it a little smoother, and he kind of knows what you like to do and where you like yeah. the ball and that kind of thing. Yeah, um, having Haynes as my quarterback made the transition that much smoother for me. You know, since I didn't come here in the spring, like I said earlier, um, I only had a couple months to pick up the offense. And so since I've been here, and you know, we were doing uh, workouts in the summer, like if I ever had like a, you know, like a brain fart out there and, you know, I just blanked for a minute, Haynes would look at me and just give me like the A&M play. And then it would like snap back like that. So, you know, having that, you know, cheat sheet in a way really helped me, you know, just being able to, for him and, and for Coach Winky as well, you know, just to break down terminology for me, it, it really allowed me to uh, pick up the offense easier, easier excuse me. And, you know, just having Haynes out there, um, it just gives me a sense of security because, you know, he knows what I like. I know what he likes. I know what he's looking for. He knows where I like the ball. So um, it goes hand in hand. So um, I think our chemistry has really developed over the years. Monday night time. Let it fly. 